review. Is it okay to do the same joke two weeks in a row? Hello everybody and what is going on? So today we are getting around to another exciting episode of Fit Review. Sick Fits. PewDiePie references. For those of you who don't know what Sick Fits is, I rate subscribers' outfits, I pick out the top 10, do some honorable mentions, watch Mojo style, and that's basically the gist of it. So if you're sitting there and you're thinking to yourself, well that sounds fairly simple, I wouldn't mind sending my outfit photos to a complete stranger on the internet for him to put in a YouTube video. How do I go about this? It is very, very simple. All you have to do is send your outfits to Sick it's at outlook.com in the title of the email just sort me your instagram handle in the body of the email attach a full length picture of yourself and of course leave some details of your outfit what top are you wearing what bottoms are you wearing what shoes are you wearing that kind of thing press the send button and you are done so in the last episode of sick fix i said that this week there is basically no theme whatsoever i just want to see personal style and you guys delivered so enough with the waffle we're just gonna jump straight into the first outfit of the day. So the first outfit of the day is brought to us by Schedule Holy. Fam, some of these Instagram usernames are indecipherable. And my man is wearing a thrifted Viscos shirt, thrifted 80s Lacoste shorts, and some white Lacoste tennis sneakers. So let's talk about this outfit so the first thing that i like about this outfit is where he actually took the picture i mean he's in the middle of traffic standstill traffic and man decided to do the fit pick bonus points but moving on to the actual outfit i'm really liking the summer outfit i do feel with summer outfits you really have to make your pieces count because you're only wearing like three items of clothing and my man delivered just look at this shirt. It's vintage, it's 80s, it's abstract. I'm liking the colour scheme to it. Borderline grunge, if I do say so myself. Unbuttoned at the top, showing a bit of chest. Say it with your chest. And he's complimented this top with the Lacoste shorts. The shorts are there, just minding their own business. Just supporting the top here because this is where all of the business, all of the flex is. Teeny tiny subtle Lacoste logo on the shorts there. And of course, we've got the white Lacoste sneakers on foot, just completing the summer trilogy, traditional to the core. So thank you for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by I'm Just Teen and my man is wearing an Arvest shirt, a Uniqlo t-shirt and belt, Levi 512s and the Doc Martens 3989s. So let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit, it's smart casual. Firstly, you've got this patterned shirt. It's fun, it screams summer. The shirt's unbuttoned all the way down. You see the t-shirt underneath there. The tag team hit combo doing their bits, complimenting each other. There has never been a stronger relationship. And this fire hit combo is accompanied by tucking it in to the trousers and then slapping on a belt to divide the two, sectioned off, adding to the smartness of this outfit because you can't keep it too casual. They need to know that you mean business. Moving down to the Levi jeans, a nice smart fit. We've got that slim slash skinny. We have form, we have silhouette, it's all here. And of course, on foot, we have to round it off with a pair of Doc Martin boots just to let them know that you're really about it. All in all, I would say that this is a super clean outfit, but at the same time, it's got hits of casual. However, they balance himself out with the fact that the fit of the jeans are slim skinny the shirt's been tucked in with a belt all together a very harmonious outfit so thank you for sending in your outfit moving on to the next outfit so the next outfit of the day is brought to us by geo.villa and my man is wearing a vintage tommy hilfiger long sleeve shirt thrifted plaid pants thrifted brown dress shoes, gold rim glasses with oval lenses, got some mad ring accessory games, and a classic black belt with the big barkle. So let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I really like about this outfit is the fact that there's checks everywhere. There's so many patterns, there's so many crisscrossing. The plaid game has been turned up 150%. Absolutely mad. My guy is doing the absolute most. This outfit is busy, busy, busy. My man has used his accessories well. You've got the rings, you've got the necklace, you've got the glasses. They're all doing their part. Just breaking up the outfit a little bit. It's all mad here, it's all mad down there. So why don't you take a minute to appreciate 
the rings. And of course, on foot, we've got the shoes, just rounding off this outfit. So many different aspects clashing with each other, and that's what makes it work. And that's what makes it work. Absolutely a big man outfit, so thank you for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by Ugly Crackhead. Mad, mad, that's his username. And my man is wearing a thrifted Elvis t-shirt, thrifted Tommy Hilfiger jeans, an urban outfitter's belt, rings from the thrift store, a handcuff chain and a key necklace from the thrift store, and of course, thrifted sunglasses. This man is a walking trip to the thrift and I love it. Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit I'll say it again, this man is a one man trip to the thrift and it is all done correctly. Let me tell you why. Firstly, this Elvis t-shirt is a really interesting piece. It caught my eye immediately. Black t-shirts are definitely something that I've been feeling recently. How to style black coming very, very soon. I'm really liking this belt as well. I see these belts popping up more and more often. I think elements of punk and grunge are coming back into fashion and there are no complaints here. I absolutely love this style. Big belts. Big buckles, I am 100% here for it. Moving on, the accessories game is strong. It's all going on here, it's all going on here. But let's talk about these Tommy Hilfiger jeans, baggy boys for life. Me, personally, I haven't seen this combination in a while. Normally black t-shirts are accompanied by black trousers, but everyone seems to forget that you can style black with another color other than black. And the proof is in the pudding with this picture. It's a madness, this guy has done his thing completely. So thank you for sending in your outfits. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by Jason Byro and my man is wearing a thrifted tee, a thrifted belt, a belt from Amazon, MNG jeans, the elusive Air Force Ones, a Hot Topic chain and a Dickies chain as well. So let's talk about this outfit. What's the first thing that drew my attention to this outfit? The fact that this entire fit is Tekkers. It ticks absolutely every single box for me. Vintage graphic white t-shirt tucked into not one but two belts. Double the belts, double the bar call. The jeans, very, very unusual. Baggy boys for life, by the way. But it's got some red detailing, making them stand out even more. Baggy trousers go well with chunky shoes. The Air Force One is the ultimate chunky shoe. There's so many equipment bonuses in this outfit. Altogether, a fire outfit. I don't know what it is about baggy jeans recently, but I'm really feeling them. I think it's probably because I've been wearing shorts for the past three weeks. I really do like this outfit. It's simplistic, but at the same time, it holds a lot of style, it holds a lot of trend. The jeans are definitely a statement piece in themselves. I love the detail on them. And of course, the Air Force One go unchallenged so altogether a fire fit so thank you for sending in your outfit moving on to the next outfit so the next outfit of the day is brought to us by Zabin feels numb and my man is wearing the Vetmon t-shirt the Gucci flip-flops and the unique low pants so let's talk about this outfit first thing that I like about this outfit the theme all black, you've got the grunge going on. But at the same time, you've got the flex, you've got the vet mom, we've got the Gucci. Of course, we can't ignore that. This is low key, high fashion goth, and I love it. Firstly, that vet mom t shirt is absolutely mad. The unique low trousers are just sitting there, minding their own business, being slim fits, adding form, adding silhouette. And on foot, we've got these Gucci sliders sliding into your girls' DMs. I love an all black outfit, I love a goth, grungy inspired outfit. I love high fashion, love Vetmon, love Gucci. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad. So thank you for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit is brought to us by Mitchell underscore Bradshaw and my man is wearing a vintage Nike crew neck, Dickies carpenter jeans, the Converse Chuck Taylor highs and an East Pack bag. So. Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that drew my attention to this outfit was the theme. So here we've got a lot of 80s colors. We've got that forest green, we've got that purple. We've got them blue denim jeans and they just all work well together really, really well. I think the location of this shot suits the outfit as well. In my opinion, this outfit looks very, very playful, but at the same time, 
is trendy, it holds its own, it is a valid fashionable outfit. These Converse's have really piqued my interest by the way. You've got the green on one side, you've got the purple on that side, you've got the red in the middle there. But yes, all in all, it's a very colorful outfit, a very playful outfit, but at the same time, I really appreciate it for its style aspect as well. It's just that the color blocking is mad. My man isn't afraid to mix and match. It's a low key Harlequin look and it is doing bits. So thank you for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. So the next outfit of the day is brought to us by Asapolis and my man is wearing a blue denim jacket, gray belt, a black t-shirt, Nike shoes and a black beret. Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit are the colors. You've got the blue denim jacket with the black t-shirt. Contrast is important. Tucked in the t-shirt, standard, smart looking belt with the normal sized barkle. You've got the brown trousers, cropped, ankle swingers. It's okay, it's fashion. And on foot, we've got the Vapor Maxes. Low cut top, show some neck. Denim jacket, rolled up the sleeves. It's casual, that old school 70s look. Accessories further amplifying the style. Round glasses, 70s. They're hip, they're cool. The Beatles wore them. The beret, the international symbol of sophistication and revolution. One of the coolest hats that you can pull off. The trousers, tucked in, trendy, smart. And the vapor maxes. Hard to pull off, but when you do, they look absolutely sick. My man has ticked all of the boxes here. He's doing the absolute most, effortlessly cool. So thank you for sending in your outfit. So before we move on to the last outfit of the day, I just wanna throw in some honorable mentions. Watch Mojo style, I get sent in loads of submissions for sick fits and it would be an injustice just to show 10. So here are the honorable mentions. And those were the honorable mentions. Moving on to the last outfits of the day. So the next item of the day is brought to us by Tay Fosquet and my man is wearing the Guest Cross ASAP t-shirt, some black original fit dickies, the Velcro Vans, the LB lock and chain, a DIY wallet chain and some thrifted rings. So let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit Consistency. You've got the black and white of the t-shirt. Bonus points for the stripy shirt. ASAP guess. Doing bits. The vintage look always flies with me. Tucked into a belt with the big bar. The dickies sitting there minding their own business. But wait, there's more. The wallet chain on the side there. Nobody's pickpocketing my man. Your wallet is safe. It's protected. And on foot, we're throwing a curveball. Yeah, old school vans are cool, I admit. But have you ever looked at a pair of old schools and thought to yourself, I can't be bothered to tie these up. Belt crow is the answer. All in all, an outfit that I can definitely vibes with. It's got that vintage flair. It's got that smart flair. It's got that uniqueness to it as well. The accessories adding details. Fashion is a playground. Love the color scheme as well. The monochrome, you've got that black and white. No other colors needed. All in all, a very, very sick fit. He said it. So it is time for bonus fit. And the bonus fit is brought to us by new Rudin underscore underscore and my man is wearing a unique low black t-shirt his dad's Nike sweatshirt from back in the day some mango slim fit jeans and some new balance shoes so let's talk about bonus fit first thing that I like about this outfit is its simplicity. This has got serious norm core Shia LaBeouf vibes. You've got the new balance, you've got the slim jeans, you've got the more or less plain top. All items of clothing our Lord and Savior Shia LaBeouf loves. The second thing that I like about this outfit is the colors. So it's so far so good. Norm core at its finest. But what is that in your hands? Is that a cigarette? Fam, fam, fam. Overall, I really do like this outfit. I love the simplicity of it. It's got that normcore flair that I love. Shia LaBeouf will be proud. 
So thank you for sending in your bonus fit. And that was fit review. So let me know in the comment section down below which one of these outfits was your favorite. I will be leaving an image gallery in the description down below of every single fit submitted into Sick Fits. If you want some information on the top 10, I will be leaving their outfit details in the description down below, alongside some affiliate links of where you can buy certain items or very similar. They are affiliate links, but man's gotta pay the bills. And before we end today's video, let's set the theme for the next Sick Fits. So the next Sick Fits theme is going to be accessories, which means I want to see how you incorporate rings and necklaces, watches, sunglasses, all that good stuff into your outfits. I want to see what you do with these little details and how they affect your outfits. I feel like I'm setting homework. This is a mad thing. So that is where I'm going to end today's video. So if you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see more of what I do, I do a lot of fashion based stuff, lifestyle based stuff and style based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here. Share this video with your friends, Waffle Gang Gang, Cozy Boys, you done though. And now that is everything. Bye.